Well, I'm delighted to say that um, we've got Kevin Phillips here, we've got Blair Adams, and we've got Marta Smith. And uh, still on a bit of a high, guys? I don't know, I'll go first. This is probably the best I've felt since Monday. Uh, but yeah, it's. Uh, I think we're all still buzzing. You know, it's been it's been a long, hard season, and to, to get over the line on Monday was an amazing feeling. And it's, you know, the lads deserve every bit of credit that's come their way, and they've celebrated like they should. Um, and we've been no different as staff. So yeah, I think we're all still on a buzz, and we're looking forward to tomorrow. Did you feel as though, Kevin, when you when you came to the football club to start with, that you know there would have been a plan, there would have been a schedule? I mean, are you are you ahead of schedule, or are you roughly where you thought you should be? No, we are where where we should be. Uh, when I came in 18 months ago in January, you know, it was spelled out to me pretty clearly that promotion was the be one end all, really. Um, so you know, the position we were in at the time was second in the table. We didn't quite get over the line for whatever reason, so it was a it was a kick, you know, it was a blow. Um, so yeah, this season it was promotion and nothing else. So you know, we had a we had a busy summer in terms of recruiting, building our own squad, bringing Martin in, and obviously Blair staying at the football club as our captain. Um, it was just about trying to build a squad that can challenge and get promoted. And so we, for me, we're bang on schedule. Will the squad require much tinkering over the uh, over the summertime? No, nah, because what what we did do last summer, um, you know, we recruited with one eye on on the next league. Um, yes, you know, I think we do need to add a few to the squad. That goes without saying, if we're serious about challenging, which we are. Um, so, you know, we'll look at that over the next few weeks. We've already got people in mind, um, but at the moment, you know, if we were to start the league next season with the squad we've got. I think we'd be more than capable of winning a lot of football matches, but we're serious about going again and get challenging for promotion. So we certainly want to make the squad as strong as we can and with the backing of Jeff. And personally, Kevin, I mean, it's a real feather in your cup, isn't it? Well, it, it is, and, you know, don't get me wrong, you know, it's a great feeling, but, you know, these lads will tell you all along, it's, you know, I'm more delighted for the players. Um, you know, it's, it's an amazing feeling. You know, as I say, they deserve every bit of it. And for my own personal career manager, yes, yeah, it's, it's great. Um, but that's not why I came here. You know, I came here to, to try and get a group of players out of this league, which, you know, they've struggled to do for a while, and, and we've done that. So, you know, any credit that comes my way, great. But, you know, I want all of that to, to be on the players because they're the ones that have to go out there and fight. And Blair, I mean, how has the club changed? From the, and obviously, you've been there a little bit of time, so... What have been the developments and how do you feel as though the club has evolved? Facilities would probably be the main one over the last few years. When I when I first signed with well, a part-time team, um, just training on it like Tuesday and Thursday night on the 3G pitch at the ground. Uh, since then, we've like acquired Heart and Welfare where we do the bulk of our training through the week. That went, once we went into like a full-time model, uh, which has made a huge difference. Having our own site, we use any time and that's like, that's been a bit of a gradual process. It's constantly improving. The, the sorting the, the gym out in there now for us to use, and um, just having, having those kind of facilities like they the compete with with the level above and and higher. So just to have that has been um, key, particularly in this year. Do you see next season being much of a, a step up? Is the squad more or less ready? Will it need much in terms of you know we're now expecting a better sort of opposition, or do you feel as though? You still be okay, and you will be in there with a shout and actually get another title. Well, I think just have to look at the two teams who went up from our league uh, last season. Obviously, Buxton and Scarborough. Scarborough, last time I checked, were fourth in the league, and they went up through the playoff places. Buxton are, are doing all right themselves since the turn of the year. So, you know, we've got a we've got a very good struck uh, squad here, and I, I would definitely say we'd compete at the level above and, and have a real good go at it. Martin, it's been a change for you over the last 12 months. You were at Hartford all last year, of course, fighting against relegation. So it's been a real handbrake turn for this season for you, hasn't it? Yeah, massively. I think um, obviously just a different sort of pressure, but in many ways, I think I think just as much pressure this year than, than what it was, obviously, fighting relegation last. I mean, like, like the lads have, have touched on, I think the pressure's built over the last few years. 
on the club to get promoted out of the league. And obviously you, you could feel that, I could feel that as soon as I came to the club that that was the case. But um, I think that's just a testament there to all the players and the gaffer and his staff of how we've dealt with that pressure. And if I'm honest, I think that's probably why what a, one of the, the main reasons why we've we, we've done what we've done because we've we've dealt with setbacks, um, we've, we've created an environment where we were able to deal with setbacks and like we've not lost the back-to-back games. I mean, theoretically, how far can this football club go? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't go as I wouldn't say sky's the limit, like, but there's still a lot of room for us to, to one, improve and obviously to push to higher levels. And I think that's where we want to get to. The gaffer and all, and all of us players, we've got high high ambitions of where we want to get to. And I don't I don't see why not. I think we're more than capable of doing that. There's a lot of players that have played at played at the higher level and are able to and we're able to get there. So we just need to we just need to keep our feet on the ground and obviously just enjoy this moment now. And then, and then we refought with, but we just got to just st- st- stay, get off at the ground, stay home, we'll keep working hard and the, the success will come. Gather with this one. Uh, what's it like having someone like Kevin Phillips on the sideline? I've touched, I've touched on it a few times. Like I'm a, I'm a big Sullivan fan, and he's just as we look at the stadium, he's ice. Features that's there, he's an ice. Something I, I looked up to when I was a young kid, and end up playing for him and be around him every day, and then up and up. Mentioned it on the radio the other night. He's more than a manager, really, for us. The way he's a human being and the way he, he treats us as people, and you get a lot of managers in this game, but that they're only, they're only, they only care about themselves. They're not, not real much care about the staff and the players that are around them. So, but, but the, the gaff is completely different to that. And um, like I say, not only as a manager, but as a, as a leader and as a person, it's, it's been, a, been a pleasure this year. And Kevin, sort of the level that you played, clubs that you've been at in the past, you know, you look at something like South Shields, a lot of people will be spiffy about the whole thing, but actually the way South Shields is moving forwards, it has been run as a proper football club. Yeah, and I think that's, you know, testament to to one person really, and that's that's Jeff Thompson. You know, where the club was when he took over to where it is today is a, is a million miles, you know, a million miles away. The money that he's invested, the ambition, the infrastructure that, that's in place at the moment, is geared up to only move one way and that's forward. You know, it's saying that you have to get it right on the pitch. You have to get your recruitment right. You have to bring the right people to the football club to, to move it forward. And, you know, we certainly have done that this season, the squad that we built. You know, like Martin said earlier, you know, this, this club, it's up to them really what they want to achieve. Depends how much more money Jeff wants to invest, which is always key in any football club. Uh, if we're serious about moving through the leagues, um, which, as I said, the infrastructure's there, the support was there. To get to two and a half thousand at this level is just unheard of. You know, to get 1,500 travel to Whitby, to get 4,000 in, in the first round of the FA Cup, it's just incredible. But it doesn't surprise us because, you know, these two are from the North East. You're from the North East. I've worked here and played here. They, they love their football. And, you know, we're certainly in an... In an in an area where if you get success, it will attract sorts of supporters, sponsors, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, I, I would say when I first come, it was a few eyebrows were raised, you know, why are you taking a, a job at that level? But it excited me and, you know, a chance to move back up here, work up here. It brought its own pressures, but I believed, I believed in myself. I believed in taking the challenge. And I you know at the minute that challenge just paid off and it, that's down to these two and the team, but a lot of hard work, a lot of stress, a lot of pressure, but you know, that's what football's all about. That's why we love it. And I wouldn't want it any other way. We're riding along in the Volkswagen ID buzz at the moment. Uh, Pullman, part of the sponsorship team at South Shields. I mean, it's so important to try and get, you know, the sort of backing from, I think local companies, but financially as well. It really makes sure that the, that the footing that the club is on is a really solid one with a good local backing. Yeah, I think I think that's one of the big strengths of the club is having those kind of relationships with the local businesses. Uh, we obviously had the event in pre-season where we met all the staff from Pullman that came down to the ground. Correct, it was for the uh, kit launch, and we, you know, we had a we had a brilliant day there where, where we meet all the staff. And as I say, those kind of relationships with the local businesses, with with the local people, are, are so uh, key for the club and. 
you know, hopefully those kind of relationships will continue as we uh, progress as a football club. Let's talk about cars for a little bit. Um, each of you, petrol, diesel, or electric? Kevin, which one would you go for? I feel careful to fit while I'm driving. <laughs> I, if I'm being honest, yeah, if I'm being, I've never driven a, an electric car before. Um, so I just think from previous experience, I'd probably go, it'd have to be petrol. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that would be my, that would be my answer. Blur? Uh, probably, probably diesel for me. I think it's, uh, well, the VW I had a few years ago, a bit of a smoother ride and better on fuel. So I'll go with that. But it, yeah, I'm, I'm probably with the gaffer in terms of petrol. Um, but obviously the way the way the world's going and, and obviously for, for, for the planet I think everyone's trying to sway the world's um, electric cars and you know hopefully in the future if it works for everyone's pocket and if, it, if it suits everyone to be able to make that transition obviously we'll all we'll all be doing that In terms of actual the club itself you know are you going to end up with a row of baby Bentleys outside? That type of thing. <laughs> hey, we're not less. We're not less to sit. There's only only one person at our club that's got a Bentley. That's the boss. Well, the door. No, not like you. It's one of the best ones. Yeah. So, well, no, it, it would be very kind, wouldn't it? If Paul wanted to give us all the car. Any snappy dresses at the club? Definitely not Dylan Moore. So that's what you're. I mean, someone uh, was a. Uh, what are, you, what are you looking at? No, no, no. I'm just I'm going on all out on Dylan Morse here. Uh, on Monday night, after obviously you uh, secured the title, we had a bit of a party at the ground, and then uh, because everyone was already in the club tracksuits, um, the lads just went out in them. And I've had people text me saying it's the best outfit they've seen Dylan Morse in on a night out. So, yeah. What <laughs> <laughs> with the bully? It is Charlie Barry. Uh, well, it's really kind, guys. Thanks so much indeed for joining us. And uh, have a good summer. Enjoy the celebrations and uh, enjoy promotion. Pullman, delivering a fantastic customer experience.